What's up, Fight Fans? I'm the reason MMA is legal in New York, Tommy Toehold. And MMA in December is gonna kick your fucking dick in. Then it's gonna help you back to your feet, but only to kick your fucking dick in one more time. In just a few short days, we've already had Invicta go ham on KC, King Kong and Godzilla fuck shit up, and Nate Diaz give me enough material for at least the next six years. This Saturday, we've got UFC on Fox 9, the battle for Middle Earth, where hobbits are taking the main stage for some pint-sized action. Nobody on the main card weighs more than 155 pounds, which means the majority of the night will look like the 10 seconds people actually fight on Dragon Ball Z. Team Alpha Male has been hard at work and four of their little rascals are gonna be making an appearance. Mighty Mouse will be saving the day in the main event, and Scrooge McLozon will be going for his 98th fight of the night bonus. But we're just getting warmed up, motherfuckers, because two weeks later, the biggest event in the history of the universe is going down in Las Vegas. UFC 168 will be bigger than your first date, your first kiss, your first blowjob, and your second kid being born. Combined. Let me throw some names at you. Dennis Seaver, Gleason Tebow, Robocop, Uriah Hall, Chris Lieben, Emilio Estevez. Some of those weren't real. That's the fucking prelims, fight fans. We've still got Diamond Dallas Poirier, Bill the Butcher, the Babyface Warmaster versus Dish TV's DVR, Ronda Rousey armbarring Misha Tate in three minutes, and the he-match of all he-matches. The ultimate challenge, Chris Wiener and the Spider Gun are going at it one more time to see how long it takes Silva to get himself knocked out again by dancing around like he's fucking Usher. I know what you're thinking, fight fans. You're thinking this all sounds like the best fucking thing that's ever going to happen to me, but how can I get involved? Can I fight Robbie Peralta on the prelims? No. No, you can't. But you can play fantasy MMA at countermove.com, pick Esteban Payan for your team, and then it'll feel like you're fighting Robbie Peralta. I'm sure you have some questions. What the fuck is fantasy MMA at countermove.com? And who is Esteban Payan? Fantasy MMA is like fantasy football, except each fight card is a season. And you're not already fucked from the beginning because you had to miss the fantasy draft at the sports bar 38 miles away. You pick a team of five fighters. No $45 strategy guides or rosters of 300 to manage. Your fighter performs, you rack up points, you win. That's it. And to answer your other question, I have no fucking clue who Estevan Payan is. But I know this much. If I pick him and manage to win five grand in Crooklyn's UFC 168 tournament, I'll be getting a fucking Estevan Payan tattoo on my back. There are free tourneys. There's tourneys where you can challenge me. And the one and only Crooklyn is holding a $25,000 UFC 168 tourney where the top spot is raking in five fucking Gs. That'll get you a lot of condoms and you're probably gonna need them. It's easy and it's fun as fuck, fight fans. It's even more fun to challenge your friends. And whether 10 bucks are at stake or just the sweet knowledge that your friend agreed to eat a ghost chili if you finished higher than he did. Playing fantasy MMA at countermove.com is going to make the MMA in December even more awesomer than it was already going to be. Like the Dark Knight Rises if Heath Ledger hadn't died. This shit is easier than taking down James Tony. But if you need more explanation on how to play, click on my balls. And they'll take you to another video I made giving you the rundown on all things countermove. So go to countermove.com, sign up, and get all up in this December MMA madness. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a Photoshop appointment. I'm getting this weird dip in my shoulder fixed.